Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. This week, that's quite a bit of it over a long time. I know it is. I am a little bit, even though we're in the middle of nowhere, I'm a bit worried because one, there's an alarm going off in this place already, which is worrying. Is the onset off? No, but then there's like, geese. We've heard of dog. We've heard all sorts. So. Gotta be careful. Now we're in the cellars of a massive stately home. It is fantastic it's as well, it's huge, yeah. And it's one of these ones that's just left in the middle of the countryside, in the middle of nowhere. And not many people will know about it, I don't think, this no. one. So we're gonna get in, we're gonna get round. Now I know a lot of it is like ceilings have fallen in, but I've also seen through one of the windows there's an amazing ceiling, an amazing if ceiling. Up to it. Yeah, that's the thing, if we can get up floors, so anyway, let's go. So yeah, like I was saying, we appear to be in all the cellars, but it looks like where they used to have the coal. And there's like a little coal scuttle through here as well, in this little bit. So I don't know where anything else goes. What are these little bricks on there? What are they for? No, it doesn't. What, what are they for there? They're like writing on them. Wild's big den. Big den or Ben? Ben. Big Ben. I don't know what they are. No idea. A pair of wellies in your size there as well. Right, ladies wellies, those ones. Oh, wow. I do like old cellars. Look at the doors and stuff in here. Does it go through any? No. Oh. Drop down. There's a lot of bricked up doors, I don't know if you've noticed. I know, when I dropped down to start with, I thought, oh, I'm not going to get through to bricked it up. That's the only way out, but yeah. it'll come through here. Look at, oh wow, look at this. Oh my God, what is that for? <laughs> now you can hear that alarm, like I mentioned to you. And you'll probably hear that quite a lot. But why is there like a rail cart? that runs, well not all the way through here, but it was a, fair distance. a good distance. It might have gone further at one point. It goes right up there as well. No, neither do I. Right, we're walking away from the alarm first. Oh, look Andy. So it did come along here, all the way up. Yeah. I thought it just stopped there. But obviously not. This corridor. It's bizarre, it like curls round. It was all the way around the house. Like yeah. Underneath. Well, did you see the outside? It's got like little buildings on the end. Yeah. So it must go all the way under those. This is amazing. Unless it's got its own bloody coal mine. What would these, yeah, exactly. What would these tunnels be for? It's freaky. That would do something with coal, I think mean, it's got to be. Well, yeah, there's all that coal up there. Shove it onto that, shove it round here, upstairs somewhere. Got to find it, you'd think so, but I do like a good little tunnel like this. Because there was a room up there, but it looks like it's been all boiling, and like, so everything's been took out. Yeah. I wonder if that could be it. Could be. But it seems to carry on, though, and carry on. Like, why is it hooking to the left? Those buildings don't. No. Oh. Come to an end. Is that wooden now? Yeah. Oh, it's a big old wooden door, look. Has it got bars on it? Oh, look at that. Does that open? No. It's on wood. It's on in wood. See where that go comes out later on, go around the other side of the building. But yeah, just love this. Absolutely love it. So yeah, Andy was saying there were a room off where the boilers were. So this obviously would have been it. They're not it is, but they're not massively old, these actually. I expected them to be really old, but they were probably 60s, 70s or something. Oh, I looked down through that from the outside. Definitely not so hot one. Yeah. Look at some of these gauges and stuff there. I do. I like stuff like this, but 
It's not my favourite bit. You don't like industrial, do you? No, I don't. I would I don't rather. Like it's massive. It, some of it's good. Like that in Belgium that we did. Um, the big coal mine where we went right to the top of it. I can't. Hazard. Yeah, that was amazing, that place. Look at this, though. It's just so bizarre. Right, we're going to see which way we can go this way. We've come from that direction, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, look. That's right, Bob. I just don't know what this alarm's going to do. I don't know if it's that noise is the alarm going off. Or it's just like warning you there's an alarm. I don't know. Now, obviously, there's the, the kettle. Something that looks like of a cooker, but that's like a old fashioned poison bottle or something. I don't think it is a poison bottle. I've got something on my fingers, I don't know what's in it. But it's got a strange brown liquid in it. I don't know what that is. It's coming out, it's leaking, whatever it is. Got some little bat flying about. Oh, is there? Oh, we do like, oh God, yeah, it looks quite big. You see? Yeah. Big ass bat. Oh, what is it there? It's a lift. Oh yeah, runs right up there. These, they are, but these doors are bizarre. With the little round windows on. Look at, why is there a little, what's that bit for? What would that be for? Don't you think that's odd? Thought went straight through. I think that's really strange. All right, let's keep looking. Now I know this room's pretty empty, but it's like, they're like notice boards, big notice boards. And then all the way around, there's numbers. Like it was a, do you know what it makes me think of? A football changing room. But obviously it's not that, it'll be, didn't you say you saw something in a cupboard that said school? It's a school on it, yeah. I wonder if they used it in like World War II as a school or something. You know, because it's in the middle of the countryside and they should go the kids. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if it is. It's opened up a bit in here. It's not like the little tunnel that was down there. It's like a big walkway now. Oh. Oh my God, look at that. I've never seen a safe door built in like that. What did they keep in here? Is it chub or anything? Look at the lock on there. It's got one of those triangular locks and it, well like an arrow. The lock on it. Safe room. This is crazy. This is a very strange place. They are. And look at the little drawer things. I wonder if they had all the, like, jewels or whatever it is they kept in here. What are they? Strange little containers. The seal. That's weird. Heavy. And then shelves. Look, there's all these like little tiny drawers. You know, like when you go into a a bank safety deposit box thing. Yeah. And they've got like separate little drawers. <gasps> are they flags? Oh no, I don't think they are. Are they black? Are they blinds? I don't know what they are. I think they are blinds. Roller, 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 blinds, roller yeah. blinds. These things are strange as well though, look. Like the little bit to keep the stuff in. Like those blinds. Yeah. This is, what a place this is. And we're only in the cellar. That's it, you get your little teenage girl bag off. I'll change the battery, the battery yeah. That's where you put it. You and that bloody torch. I know, because I use it a lot. Man. I know. What we got? I wonder what they kept in there with all the straw in it. Little box protected by straw. Really strange. Right. Oh, look. Oh, God. That's what I think it might be. It's got sawdust round it. Yeah, that's what it seems like to me. 
like little things of gunpowder, but it might not be, but that's what I th think. That's what I'm going to decide it is. Yeah, what you stood on here? Oh, that says cattle, bow, India, products of India, goat, cattle. What is, what is it? What's that a map of? Wheat. It's got all the things down this side as well. No, but it's not. I'm going to pick it up. Oh. Products of India. Oh, I wonder if it's something to do with the school. That is a map of India, look. There's the point at the bottom. That's where I went down there. And then it's showing all the different produce from the different parts of the country. Yeah. So it's like educational, isn't it? Bizarre. Big numbers are. I like these numbers. People are back. They are really yeah, good. These numbers. They are really, really good. Yeah, just found another couple of maps here. That's climate regions of the world. Different deserts and one thing and another. What's that say there? Columbus. It shows all the different routes and when they did it. Vasco Gama, Vasco da Gama, Marco Polo. It's all the different trade routes over the years. I don't know what this one is at the front. It's very Indian again, because it says Kashmir. Just right? be careful, because it's very de delicate, very delicate. Yes. Really strange. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Did you shit yourself? You thought you were you were going to knock um, some gunpowder over? I still joke. It's still been volatile for years. I know. I can't believe how thick that is. I really can't. That's mad. Right. Heading up the stairs now. We're both a bit wary because of this alarm going off. Not 100% sure where it's coming from. It's coming from the entrance, isn't it? The sensor there, yeah. I think it's been going off this whole time. Yeah. So I won't worry. Oh Lord. So this is what's flying about in here. Something just shot off up there then. I don't think it were, it sounded like wings, like feathered wings, not so bats do have wings. <laughs> Look at this thing now. Magnet oven. That's massive, that arga. Is it like, a, it's a triple arga. I don't think I've ever seen a triple top to arga like that before. No, big industrial line, isn't it? Yeah. That's not just cooking an egg on, is it? <laughs> Literally. Exactly. A few ostrich eggs. <laughs> it's huge. Awesome. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Seen this? It's like an old fire hydrant, isn't it? Yeah, but an odd place to have it right in the centre of your building. I mean, you can reach everywhere. Well, yeah, it's probably a good place for it, but I'm saying you don't often see things like that. Yeah, yeah. Now we've got another one of these long corridors. We're going to have a look in some of the rooms. I know a lot of them, like I said, are a bit empty, but look at them doors. Jeez, what happened to the floor above us? Now, I don't want to show you too much of just big, empty spaces, but I really think you need to sort of appreciate the size of this space. Now that, what? What are you saying? Oh, and he's getting attacked by bats. <laughs> it's, is it a bat? It's not a fucking golden eagle, is it? No, but whoa! It's just doing a little laps of this bit. Be careful. We don't want to upset it. Upset it? <laughs> Let's go in the bit we're not supposed to go in. Right, we're heading up again. Oh God, it looks ropey up here, Andy. 
there's like full rooms with floors missing. And the ceiling's missing as well. Good up outside. We need to be quick then. Let's have a look round quick. Yeah, so that, oh no, that's not the room I was in. But there's a fireplace hanging just with nothing there. I can tell Andy's on edge now, aren't you? Yeah, just a bit. You don't like it, do you, when there's stuff like that going off? No. At the end of the day, I'm not too bothered, but we still don't want to get caught if we can help it. Right, so I've just risked coming over this bit now. That might not look so bad to you, but that's actually the ceiling. So we can't tell if underneath it is, is rotten or whatever. Now, once again, I'm, I'm going over a dodgy bit to get in this next room. A lot of sinks, but then look. Look at the drop down there. Oh, it's just all collapsing round us. I am a little bit concerned because there's no floor at that side to stand on this side. It just, it, it doesn't seem quite right. So I'm gonna go back the other way, I think, on this occasion. I don't think there's any point in me going around there either. Now we've come the other way and we've been met. It is a little bit spongy. Big massive Belfast sink. Oh God, oh, look at the old plug sockets as well. This is scary stuff. There's a saw on that shelf. Oh bloody hell, that made a funny noise. We're just trying to see if there's anything we can see that other people might not have. I want to get across onto that, but I am a little bit concerned that it's just all going to collapse. Right, Andy's taken the, the risk of going across now. At least you can open this door. It's worth it, yeah, just in case. Because there's no yeah, point me... The well, they're all moving. Yeah. Yeah, don't, they're don't they're kill yourself. It's not attached? Not attached at one end. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, bloody hell. Is that just one, though, that's not attached? I think about three. I think it's the first three. Oh, don't do it then. Don't risk it. All right. It's not the biggest of drops, but it's not small either, is it? It's Let's be enough. right. Exactly right. I'm going to move out of your way so you can get back over here. <sighs> worries me. Not because of the, like, the gap's quite small, but if you grab hold of these bits, they're really like not solid at all. So it only takes one dodgy pull, doesn't it? And that's it. Yeah, and then you fall backwards. Yeah, exactly. The first three of them beams, they're not attached at that end. Don't want that. But yeah, I can, I can see what you mean down there, but then there's a piece of wood that's covering that yeah. entrance. I'm not telling this arch where he goes. Let's go and try and work that where that is. Once again, though, I do like these these long corridors. But every floor, every bit on each floor is just gone. Such a shame. Took it all out, haven't they? Yeah. Or it's fallen out. What's that? I wonder if these stairs down. What in? Off these floors. There might have been. Oh, like here. Well, that's the lift in it. Oh no, that's the, that is stairs. Uh, Definitely. But that, see, how do you get to the bit that we you've just seen? Yeah. Because it doesn't seem like there's any way to get to it. Keep going. Right, so we're just wandering around. And, I don't know. We've seen an amazing no, ceiling in here. Because we walk around and we knew we this side. So it's this side somewhere. We're just wandering round and round trying to find it. Look at that old fireplace. You can see, look, what it would have looked like before it, it rusted and went ruined. It's all wood panelled around this bit as well. I think it is, but 
I don't understand it. Because if that's the entrance, how do you... Why is that there as well? Oh, you do. You do, it's, it's not an open... It's a... It's a pulley. I don't know how you, how you do it. Is, this, is it a push door? I thought it just slid up. I'm not sure. Don't want to break it. Force. Now we tempted to try and climb the lift shaft to get through those doors there. But the problem is, that's the lift. Andy's just been pulling these fucking ropes and I'm stood directly below it. So I am tempted, but I'm also very scared. That comes down, you're fucked, it's dead, you're dead. I don't know how much weight's in that either, do you? Even, you know, it doesn't matter how big it is. Just think about any weight, if I landed on your head, it was not gonna work from that drop, in it. Yeah, oh God. But I just don't know, look. Like on there, on these, onto that, on there, onto that. But, but what? That door's shut. The door's there, but I don't know if the door opens, that's the problem. Like, we could get up there and the door don't even open. Because it's, it's there, look. It looks like it is open to me. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure the metal things are completely shut. Look how they open. Yeah, but it's not the metal things we need to be bothered about. We can climb over that. I'm conflicted, Andy. Yeah, there could be a lot. I don't know, because one of them looks like it's a bit open. It does, it? the one on the right looks open to me. They're not going to think that anyone's going to try and climb up this. But like I said, it's just that lift shaft at the top. Yeah. It really is worrying me, but... God knows. Right, so Andy's just giving it a go. And that bit of wood just fell down. So he's banging his gloves on and giving it another try. Nipped your ring, hasn't it? <laughs> it's never good when it nips your ring. I've had that before, but copy, copy ring. Be careful. I don't understand what that man. I know what you mean because. Oh, bloody hell. Need to get on the. Don't grab that. Can't, can't grab all the... Can you not pull all your weight onto these metal bars? Because there's two of them. There's... It'll take your weight easy. Grab this bar in front of you here with the tap on it. That's it. Pull yourself up onto the bars. Now, if you can stand up, you should be able to see if that door opens. Oh, wait. Come in. What are you wanting? Torch. Which one? Big, little, little? Can't open these. Yeah, but you have to climb over that somehow. Jesus Christ! Yeah, don't stand on the little white pieces of wood. Where are you gonna go from there? I don't know. Oh, it's holding my eyes. Nothing else to stand on to get up. I know. Um, no problem. What about this behind you? The ridge on the wall opposite you? Can you get your foot up to that or not? Is that too high? Too high. <laughs> too high. Uh, oh, I'm just going off left, right, and centre. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, God. Oh. What are you doing? Coming down or going yeah, up? Coming, coming down. down. Right, I'm moving then. Pull yourself up the next level, and I wouldn't grab onto those gates because you just don't know if they're going to open in your face. Um, right, 
Tell me about it going in my eyes. They're underneath you. At least we've tried. At least we know. See, they don't usually see this in our videos, do they? No. They don't see all the bits of hard work like that to get up places. Jesus. I just don't know what to do now. Right, so we're back at the bit where Andy came to and they're not connected to the wall. I've made my way round onto here, next to the old roll top baths. And I'm very scared. Extremely, oh bloody hell. Extremely scared, look at this. Look at that, I thought it were a tin bath at first. But it's ceramic, it's like, what a bath that is. Now I wouldn't, I'd stay there if I were you, just till I find out if that door opens. Mm -hmm. Look at the drawers as well. The little old window, uh, mirror. It's creaking loads as I'm standing on here. I just need to know if that door's open. If this door's shut, we're done. What's that? There's like a bell on it. Yeah, because we haven't seen many shut doors, have we? No. Right, let's give it a go. I can't hold everything and try it. Oh, there's a screw sticking out there, Andy. Is there? That's never a good sign, is it? I never a good sign. Yeah, right. Two seconds. Right, so the door is open. I've managed to pull it. But behind it is another door. But this one is a lot more grand than the ones we've seen previously. I'm still scared of all these floors. Let's see, does this one open? I bet this one's locked. Oh no, it's, it's just very stiff. Oh, there's something behind it. it looks like a radiator behind it. Right, two minutes. Right, I've, brought, I've got the hired muscle to get us in. I can get in, Andy. Look, that's what we're waiting behind the door. Absolutely jammed behind the door. Look at it in here, though. It's like night and day. Floors are good, ceilings, got coving round. And look, it's the top of the, the lift where we wanted to get to. So that's where, yeah, that's where Andy was. There. Oh no, in fact, there must be another floor up from where you were. Because the lift's here, Andy. Yeah. Right. Let's get in and have a look. Oh, wow. Now this is looking more like it. Look at the stuff in here. What is this lot? All modern stuff. There's a sensor up there. Now, unfortunately, I've lost the big torch, so the lighting's not quite as good as it was. I'll just try and turn this one up a little bit. It's a little bit better. Look at all the stuff piled up. Loads and loads of it. But you can see this side is in absolutely loads better condition than where we've come from. That's like a bar. It's like a kitchen room, yeah. Yeah. Really weird. There's a little man in there. Oh, look at this round the edges of here. The workmanship in, actually, in these compared to what it was. Oh my God. I've just noticed in here. Look at the pillars. In here. Oh my God. Look at that. I've never seen like a big stand free fire like that before that's cast iron. Big flue at the back there, that's massive. Imagine the weight of that. This room is amazing. It's a shame I've not got a better torch. Oh, look up there as well, Andy. Little cherubs. This is the ceiling. 
Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Right. We've managed to get the big torch back on briefly, but it's going to go off very, very soon. Look at this. Look at the walls. It's mirrored all the way around as well. This is unbelievable. I can't believe this place. Yeah, that's the ceiling we were looking through the window at. What a shame that it's damaged. It's got all the old original pelmets and curtains and everything. This room alone is fantastic. Unbelievable. Right, moving out of this room, on into the next. Oh, what a shame, look. They've ripped out a massive fireplace there. Look at it in here. How grand is this room? What a shame again. I, the torch just isn't doing it justice at all. But look at this. Fruit, if you have fruit on things and in pictures, paintings, it's a sign of opulence. It shows that you've got money. Painters always used to put it in the background. Look at this fireplace. Massive fireplace. That, that is. <coughs> Look at the mirror. The mirror's huge. You can't go through there. All right. Right, so Andy was saying we couldn't get in this room. That's why. It's just stacked high with mattresses. I wonder if they're going to turn this place into a hotel. Do you think they're going to turn it into a hotel? Could be. Oh, look. Is that a winder? Or is it a ringer? Is it for a bell? I think it's for a bell, that, not a winder, because it doesn't go all the way around. But yeah, look at the... Oh, is there a bell on the other side? Yeah, look at the helmets on the other side. Oh, this floor's creaking and it looks like it's had water on it, worrying me a little bit. I don't think we should be much longer in here, Andy. No. I'm a bit concerned now. Because people are going to see us from miles away as well, because we are literally in the middle of nowhere. Right. Let's see if there's anything else to see and then let's get out of here. Right, we're hurrying up. There's another level up here. Or maybe even two levels. We've just got to be fast now. That alarm's been going off for far too long. Yeah. Look at that light. Well, where the light comes through in the daytime. Words have disappeared now. I can't think what I'm saying anymore. Yeah. I think it will be. I wonder if it has been a hotel before. Numbers on the doors. Oh look, not a massive roll top bath. I don't know what that bit in the middle would have been for. It's interesting. I'd like to know what that were. I don't know where Andy's gone. We're sort of rushing round now. Oh look. Just lots of empty rooms on this bit. Another bathroom here, but look at this. I have never seen a bath and shower like this in my life. Look at that. It's like a full on cubicle. Shower, douche. Oh yeah. Now that is money. That is pure money, isn't it? You just, I've, I've never seen anything like that before. That is. Crazy. I absolutely love it. Right. And he's headed off in this direction. I am really getting nervous now, Andrea. Yeah, I just want to get out. I do. I feel like we're going to get caught very soon. Look at that. Thing is, I just, I, I don't want to go, but I just keep seeing things that think, I think, it's just a toilet, I think. Yeah, it's just a little toilet en suite for this big massive oh, room. Oh, hi, that sister is. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. But yeah, the master bed would have been there, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
yeah. in this big archway with the fire and then that bathroom next door. Wow, what a place. And the thing is, it just shows a bit of persistence. We would have left already, wouldn't we? Definitely, if, if we'd not, if we'd been a lot, of, I don't understand where all these stairs go. I don't know either. Really odd. Wow. Oh. Coatangers. Coatangers. Lift. Oh. Oh, so we came up these stairs. Did we? No. Oh no, we're the one above. Don't have to go down there, we've other ones. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the other ones. Right. We're making our way out. We've heard a couple of bangs. It might just be us, but we'd rather not get caught if possible. But we're still not rushing over here. Oh God. It's worrying when it makes noises over that side. Yeah. Last hurdle. Look at that. Something in there. Oh, what was that noise? Something in there. Oh, there. It's, it's a bird. bird. It's not about this one, it's a bird. You go for that. <sighs> Jesus, right, let's go. Area. out of that window we just come in there's a car outside with lights on like i said to you bloody hell that bat's coming for us now whoa it's not here where, where do we go we need to get out because they are literally outside right now and we're miles from anywhere so they're, they're here for us 100 percent oh, it scared me then andy because your torch reflected off that wall I don't know where we came up. I'm not panicking. It's not here. What do you mean it's not here? So where did we get up? I don't know. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, is this the... Oh, that's not the left, is it? It must be up here somewhere. Here. Oh, so we were stood right next to it then. Get down, get down to that cellar and let's get out. Right, we've just actually stayed in one of the windows and watched the car around the other side of the building. He got out, didn't he? Birds. He got out, had a look through a few windows and drove off again. So I think we're all right, but this is that big, massive, room with the amazing ceiling there look huge the bottom room is nothing we looked through these windows didn't we at first it's just all the stuff piled up can't really show you but that one up there bloody hell well we're surrounded by um like wildfowl and birds aren't we around here so look at this what a place. Now I'm going to try and show you the front. Just got to make sure the car's not still knocking about before. So I'm going to turn this off now. Right, it's definitely gone. He literally was parked on this road here. And we were in one of these windows at the bottom, just peering out at him. He didn't see us, obviously. So we're all right, thank God. But look, look at these steps up that big main door. Look at that. What an amazing building. This would have been so grand in its day, wouldn't it? Amazing, wouldn't it? Well, it's so grand now, I suppose, but look, this is that little building we were talking about on the end, yeah. where it all curled round. I don't know if we ended up going in that or not, or did we? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I think we probably did be fighting the knee. 
Anyway, I reckon we should get these torches off pretty quick before he comes back because he might have just come to have a look before the police get here or something. He might have gone to let police in, in fact. Some big gates, weren't they? Yeah. So let's get back to the car. See you there. Yeah, so we just we didn't notice this on the way past. It's an owl, Andy. What is it? You sure? There's something reflecting down there, but is it a cat? Oh, car. It's a car. Oh, shit, yeah. Car right there. Let's get out of here. I don't know if you can see that in front of us. Oh, it's gone now. Big fat badger. Oh, he's just run across into that field over there. You see him? He's off. Yeah, big fat badger running away from us. Good <laughs> Yeah. I think we're safe now, are you? We still need to get a push on because it's quite a walk down here as well. What, half a mile? Mile? Yeah, maybe more, yeah. Right. Right, we're not in the car because all the torches have gone. So we just thought we'd come somewhere with a bit of light. So yeah, it's been amazing in there. I absolutely loved it. I'm exhausted, my back is killing. Like I said, we had to walk just over a mile to get to that place, but it was through thick mud and it takes, it, fields. It, takes it out of your back, it kills. Barbed wire fences. And then climbing up lift shafts or trying to and climbing round things, it does you in, doesn't it? So, we we're, we're not young people, are we? <laughs> well, no. No, and I, that's the thing, like, I'm, I'm in my 40s, you're in your bloody 50s. I don't know how you do it. I feel like I'm blurred, am I blurred? Or is it just my face has gone a bit weird? Have I got a weird face today? No, it's all right. Okay. It still looks pretty. Thanks. Anyway, I'm going to make this quick because we are stood in a freezing thing. It's like half past two in the morning and we, are, we need to get home. Yeah, so, we do. thank you very, very much for watching. Our Patreons, thank you for the support we've had from you recently. Unbelievable. And all the people that have sent us stuff through the post. Yeah, brill. So, Cheers. so good. Thank you really, really, really much. Really, really, really much. Really, 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 really <laughs> muchly. <laughs> very, so, very muchly. If anybody wants to send anything else, feel free. Yeah, well, you'll have to get in contact because we can't give you our home addresses, obviously. No, we have to not give you a, a separate address. Anyway, thank you very much, and we will see you later on. Bye bye. See you